Cassis joins us now here on MLB hey. Central. There he is. Good morning. He's got a uh, nice little T-shirt there, part of the San Diego No No Club. As uh, Joe Musgrove is also a it's member of that club. Dylan, take us back to that night. Um, now that you've had a few days to think about it, what stands out? Oh, I mean, uh, really everything about that game. Uh, it was pretty, uh, pretty unique to Starks. It was uh, an earlier start, and then obviously the rain delay. So I think the rain delay was, I don't know, an hour and twenty minutes. So. Everything about it was uh, was just a little different, and then uh, you know, of course, uh, going out and throwing a no-no, it's uh, you know, very special. When Luis Arise gave you the baseball after previously breaking up the no-hit, what did he say? What was that <laughs> conversation like between you two? Uh, I think it was just a hug. Uh, there's not really too much to say. He knows I'm still furious with him, but uh, that, that made up a little bit. So every every once in a while, uh, I like to give him a hard time about that. But you know, he Dylan, got me. Dylan, La yeah, here it is, September 3rd of 2022. He doesn't want to watch this. It was a clean knock, though. It wasn't yeah. a bleeder or anything. No, I was, yeah, I mean, off the bat, I knew it. I should have. I threw a slider right down the middle. I don't know. What I was thinking. Dylan, do you like the, the hair that you're sporting now as opposed to what you were back in 2022? High and tight. Now you've let it grown out a little bit. <laughs> Looks great. Yeah, I uh, I don't know. I mean, I go to the high and tight pretty often, but, uh, you know, I think I think I just don't have a uh, set barber yet in uh, San Diego. So <laughs> mm. haircuts are, are much less, uh, yeah, much less frequent. So okay. I'll, I'll get back to that eventually, though. Dylan, when I watch you pitch, man, you're, you're, you're a surgeon out there. I mean, you got 98 to 100 top of the zone, and then you got all these what appears to be different variations of breaking balls. Are you trying to do that? Is it one pitch that you, you morph into four? Are you getting on the, the pitch shapers and trying to invent new ways to, to abuse these good hitters? Uh, I mean, I've, I've played around a little bit this year with like a sweeper and a cutter, but uh, you know, it's still the slider and knuckle curve are kind of my, my two go to. And then, I mean, it's basically slider does most of the uh, most of the heavy lifting and everything else is just to give a different look or, uh, you know, steal a strike or, or kind of bounce a curveball in the dirt and, and go for a swing and miss. But it, it is realistically, it's mostly leaning on my slider. Uh, Dylan, our Dan Plesak had uh, did a breakdown on you. Uh, about a slight mechanical adjustment that you and and uh, coaching staff had made, uh, I believe, around the All Star break. Can you tell us what that was? Yeah. Yeah. So it was uh, simple as keep the glove, glove closer to the body and see if uh, you know maybe that did something, made it harder to see pitches or or whatever. But uh, I tried it. Uh, it was the I want to say the day before uh, my start against the Braves and uh, it immediately felt good in catch play. So uh, I, I felt promising or it felt promising and then uh, but I didn't get to practice it off the mound. So I'm like, you know, it's it's I only knew it, it's hard to tell without throwing it off the mound exactly what it's going to do. But uh, I, I took it into that start and they appeared to not pick it up as well. And uh, my command was good. The sharpness was good. Uh, so it's been uh, it's been really good. Would you mind mimicking what, what, what you're talking about there just for the people at home, just so they can get a, a better yeah, so visual? I mean, basically, yeah, uh, just keeping it, keeping my glove as close to my body as I can okay. through my delivery where before I was, you know, kind of yeah. out here. Now mm -hmm. I'm, I'm okay. trying to stay more compact. It's noticeable watching you, Dylan. It is. It, it, these guys are not picking up, picking up your stuff at yeah. all. Oh, it's, it's it would have been great to see that in Team USA. That would have been amazing. <laughs> When I tried I to bully, I tried to bully you at, you at the driving stuff. range. Let I was at the driving him. range Thanksgiving. He's from Georgia, and I knew it was Dylan Cease. I knew it, but I didn't totally know it. And we were making eye contact, and it was awkward. And finally, I walked up to him. I was like, "Man, sure would like you towing the slab. Maybe next time. Hey, maybe next time." Yeah, next. I, I wanted to. Yeah, that would be uh, <laughs> an incredible experience for sure. Uh, it's a lot of factors that go into I that, know. but yeah, yeah. if uh, please invite me to the next one and uh, I'll, I'll try to make it. What Dylan, do we do? Go, go ahead. I was just going to ask if Joe Musgrove wrote, uh, raised the rent because I knew you were living <laughs> in his guest house yeah. after you threw the no hitter. Was he like a couple grand more? He, nah, he, he did make those comments, but uh, I, I locked in at a nice rate 
I, th I think I've got a, a good price going. So. It's rent controlled. Uh, yeah, exactly. It's huh? it's uh, it controlled. Yeah, that's what you want in San Diego. <laughs> What's your favorite that, Padres yeah, uniform? Tell me about it. That's a good one. Ooh. Ooh. Favorite they're, uniform. They're all good. They're all so good. Yeah. They are. Um, I mean, I like our home ones a lot. Um, Those are clean. The, I like our road pinstripes as well. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm at our city connect is like the most popular thing ever. I, um, I love the city. I, I've only connect. worn that one once. We have a lot of good options. It's uh, it's hard to choose just one. What do, what are we getting in? Like, what's today entail for Dylan Cease when you get off? Are we got a we got a flush. We get a hot cold. Mm -hmm. What are we doing? No. Uh, well, my last setting I only went one innings of the rain, so my body feels pretty good. So it's uh, gonna get after it a little bit. Probably do the core velo belt. Uh, just kind of continue to work on my lower half and that mm. feel. Uh, make sure I'm focused on my eyes being on the target and the little things like that. And uh, kind of just try to be focused and uh, shape everything, hit my spots, and then uh, call today. Are you a guy that's going to stay out on the bench and, and support your position players, or do you do you go upstairs yeah. and kick your feet up? He has to say yes when you phrase yeah, it like that. Come on. I don't. I want him to understand. Like, no, I want Dylan. Player. You need to understand from a position player standpoint how much that means He's a to the guys. Yeah. No. Uh, I'll definitely be out there. I mean, I'm gonna need to get a snack for probably three or four innings in the middle of the game, and then Ooh, uh, you know. No. Nah, uh, <laughs> probably uncrustable PB and J, something quick. Can't no, I'll be out there, especially with the way we've been playing. It's. Uh, very exciting baseball to watch, so I like to go kind of sit in the dugout as both a cheerleader but mostly a fan and, and watch these guys do what they do. Uh, Dylan, do I have this correct that your family is involved in the honeybee business? Do I have that correct? What? Yeah, not quite the business, but uh, <laughs> yeah, my dad, my dad does beekeeping and uh, he's harvested twice this year. We've had two different delicious uh, batches, batches of honey come out this year. I think, I think we got <laughs> about 100 good. pounds worth, so... Dylan, I, I want to get Lauren in the business Shahadi. with it, but. Dylan, there's a backstory here on this little show because Lauren dated a beekeeper in he college. He wasn't a beekeeper. He was oh, a yeah? baseball player. Yeah. He stung himself with bees, Dylan, as an anti-inflammatory. Dylan, he would keep bees de facto, he was a beekeeper. Frozen in our freezer and then would breathe on them and they would sting him. And it was an anti-inflammatory. They think I have a thing for all beekeepers. Oh I mean, Dylan's wasn't like, that a little bit go. of a red flag? <laughs> Yes. 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 We've been she yes, dated yes, it was, him Dylan. Yes, for it was. 30 years. <laughs> yes, it was. I dated him for a decade, Dylan, so maybe I didn't see him. Ah. But this is very therapeutic. Yeah. I to love do this, this on I live mean, it's, TV. You gotta, you gotta give it to him. That's that's like an impressive uh, commitment. And if it eh, maybe it works, it sounds like some ancient, <laughs> some sort of ancient philosophy or yeah. ancient medicine. Some sort of holistic type <laughs> of therapy. I, yeah. Dylan, you're fascinating to me. You write poetry. You have three yeah. cats. If you weren't a baseball player, what would you be? Mm, good question. Man. Uh, man, that's that's tough. I don't really have any other skill sets, so <laughs> it probably nothing too exciting. Uh, maybe something to do with business or uh, uh, it's, it's very hard to say, though. Uh, I, like I don't know. Where were you going to college? Did you sign Vanderbilt? Within? Vanderbilt. Okay. Makes yeah, sense. Vanderbilt. But I, I was going for my fastball, not for uh, yeah. my academics. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm here to play ball, not right, play last, school. Last question. What 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 we eat for breakfast? Uh, we had an omelet with some French toast. Nothing Ooh, uh, too crazy, and a banana as well. I might might go back for a second. Some I'm a little hungry today. That's great. Hey, Dylan, can I get that core yeah. velo belt on Amazon, or where oh. can I <laughs> get something like that? Oh, that's like a good a question. Million dollars. Um, uh, what are they, 500 bucks maybe? Are they uh, really? I don't know where to get them, actually. I've always, they're always just around, you know. I've okay. never uh, never had to purchase my own. But uh, it's definitely definitely a good investment if you're a pitcher and you want to feel out your lower half. Well, <laughs> no to the first question, but yes to the second one. There we go. Hey, Dylan, thank you very much for joining us, man. It's a lot of fun watching you pitch. And you're, like you said, your Padres are playing excellent yeah. baseball. Best of luck to you and the yeah. team moving forward. Thank you. Thank you guys for having me.